But for any special election or school district, any election, local or state, after April 8th, you must show a photo ID. In order to, to get a ballot and as well as to request an absentee ballot, you have to have. Uh, and and there, are, there are a number of exceptions to this, and that's why I said it'll be important to work. These will be very low turnout elections. Looking at Wisconsin's history, we have been on the cutting edge of campaign finance disclosure. 1911, we uh, had our Corrupt Practices Act, which really brought sunshine into the funding of campaigns. Very small amounts of money had to be disclosed with the Secretary of State. Right. And by 1974, what we saw wasn't that the courts had undermined that, but that the bureaucrats had undermined that. I mean, the role of the First Amendment is where we have fallen behind on this, because a lot of the contribution limits we put in place had the effect of tamping down people's right to speak in these campaigns. And that's really where we're, you know, in the GAB and its predecessor, the Elections Board, said, you know, change is coming. You need to make adjustments. And after the 2010 Citizens United decision, right. uh, legislation was talked about, some was introduced, but no action was taken.